Okay, so one of our members um, said that they were looking to make a uh, a theme similar to Squido.com, and so here it is. And one thing that I want to point out is that inside of the uh, the ABC training, you have been provided with everything that you need in order to create the foundation of a WordPress theme that has any layout structure. Um, as, you, as you can see here, we've got a title, we've got a tagline, or this can be anything. You know, this can come from theme options panel, etc., etc. It's all up to you. Um, but inside of the code snippets that I provided you, you have everything inside of here to be able to um, to create um, any kind of thing. So I just want to really point this out before I uh, explain how to create something similar to this. So in looking at this thing, the first thing that I pay attention to is the fact that we've got a bunch of posts right here. Okay. Now this is a uh, these um, would I would probably set that a category selected inside of the theme options panel would query the three six nine twelve eighteen the um, eighteen most recent posts from a given category. Okay, um, and then over here you've simply got some links. So explore topics. These are probably just categories. Um, you've got a testimonials area right here. This is a plugin. Like, you know, just use a testimonials plugin, pop in the widget, and then, um, and, you know, do some styling. That's CSS, though. Um, you should have at least basic CSS knowledge before you're even trying to build it anyway. So um, we click on one of the posts. And as we can see, we've got a uh, the uh, the banner uh, header background image right here has changed. Um, you've got the code to do that. You can make um, um, one second. Here we are. Here's the conditionals. So you can check for a page. You can check certain paddock categories, etc. So you've got this code already but you would be able to easily do that check the condition of a page that's being shown or you might use um, <clears throat> custom fields there they are you may use a custom field from a uh, from the post to set the background image it's up to you um, but then right here you've just got the post itself and then you've got some tags um, here you've got some other information some other information so um, there's a bunch of different ways that you could approach laying this out programmatically but either way it goes um, it's not really complex I think that sometimes you see all of the the posts and the links and you know the nice layout structure I think that sometimes it can be intimidating um, I want to direct you over to my YouTube because I created a video that's similar in its structure to this and you may or may not have found it but if you watch this video right here and I'm going to point this out because I've been um, contacted several times recently um, with requests for magazine style layouts so here in this video and it's one of my older, it, it's a video that I made um, close to a year ago. So um, the, the snippets inside of this video, um, they do not match up with the snippets for the ABC training. But all of the same snippets are here. And here's the video. So here's part one. Okay. So um, in this video, as you can see based on this layout structure right here um, it's not the same layout as this one but you can see that there's a lot of um, 
blocks, content blocks. So watch this video, both parts, one and two. And um, from that video, along with the snippets, you'll be able to set the foundation for this thing.